G'day. Welcome to Ollie 35mm, user-based, quasi-empirical, cheap and cheerful videos on Olympus 35mm cameras. Now, I need to put a bit of a disclaimer out here. If you hear a bit of noise in the background, uh, it's a Saturday afternoon in an Aussie summer and uh, everybody gets out and mows their lawns. So, a bit of noise possibly in the background. I do apologise, but it's sort of cool as well. Okay, so what do we have here? Hmm, an unboxing. Well, a decasing, really, I suppose. Let's have a quick sticky here. And what have we got? An Olympus Pen FT. Once touted as being the smallest uh, 35 millimeter SLR camera, I don't know if it still holds that uh, that uh, Guernsey, but um, it certainly uh, was at the time that uh, they made that. This one I got from a, uh, a wonderful man uh, in country Victoria. Um, thank you, Roger, for uh, allowing me to take this wonderful little uh, camera off your hands. Uh, I bought it from him with the 38mm uh, f1.8, the 25mm uh, f4. Just have a quick look at that. 25mm f4. And the 100 to 200mm zoom uh, f4. Five. I have to admit to being not terribly thrilled with uh, with that particular zoom, uh, but both the uh, thirty eight mil and the uh, twenty five mil are uh, are actually uh, lovely uh, lovely little lenses. Now Roger has had this from new uh, since nineteen seventy two, which was the last year of the produ production run. And uh, if I just show you here, you'll actually see that he has a quote of $297. So, <laughs> Roger actually made a profit out of me when I bought it. Um, <laughs> good on you, Roger. Uh, no problems at all there. I'm uh, very happy with the, with the purchase, and um, he actually gave it to me at a, at a really good price. But just interesting, this is uh, one of the models that um, uh, does, keep, uh, does keep quite good value. Uh, and will set you back a little bit uh, to buy, I'm afraid. So don't uh, don't go looking for any uh, sub one hundred dollar bargains um, because you'll probably be ripped off with something that doesn't work, as a guess. Okay, uh, 1959, the uh, the pen uh, was born. Uh, 1963, the uh, pen FT. Sorry, my apologies. The pen F uh, came along, and in 1966, the pen FT then came along uh, with the functionality uh, improvements, if you will, uh, of a self timer, and that's the self timer at the front. We'll try that a little bit later. And uh, inside uh, is a TDL um, a light meter. Uh, which runs on the old exposure value system. Uh, so that was the difference. Uh, in fact, this one was the only uh, of the pen SLRs that actually had uh, an inbuilt uh, light meter into it. Um, but the truth of it is, is you can use it uh, fully manually, uh, as I often do. Now, uh, with the EV value, um, I use the Sunny 16 rule sometimes, so you can see there I've got uh, apertures. But this is rather neat little lens, and the fact that you can actually pull this ring forward and twist it around... And da da, suddenly you have uh, EV values. So you can actually match up the uh, EV value in the uh, um, in the viewfinder uh, with that on the lens. So quite uh, quite easy to use. Uh, there were about 17 different lenses uh, that uh, came out with this, including a macro, um, a 38 millimeter uh, f 2.8 uh, pancake, which was all of about yay big, I think. Um, about half about half the size of this one uh, through to a, a whacking grade 800 uh, millimeter lens as well. Uh, there were copy stands, there were bellows. Uh, it was actually a little system camera. Um, oh, sorry, it was a camera system, I should say, and uh, it was pretty neat uh, for its time. The only half frame camera system that I know of, anyway. Uh, the shutter speeds uh, range from your usual B for bulb, uh, one second. Let's see if we can get it one second. Through to, can you still see that there? I think so. Uh, through to 500th of a second. And an ASA range, if I just whiz it back around here. And an ASA range, and that's actually hiding just uh, in there. Uh, an ASA range of 25 through to 400. And uh, in the viewfinder, let's grab ourselves another little camera so we can whoops another little camera so we can see what's going on uh, in the viewfinder if I get close enough you should be able to see the uh, EV range there Ho hopefully that um, 
that shows you a little bit of uh, what's going on. Now, uh, on the inside, let's see, we'll open up this back, it's a little bit tight sometimes. No, here we go. They done it very nicely for us today. Um, there is a rotating, uh, it's quite an interesting mechanism, uh, a rotating uh, titanium shutter. The story goes that uh, Yoshihisa Matani, uh, who was the uh, designer of uh, this uh, this camera, uh, went looking in the, in the F, um, went looking for titanium and found it very, very hard to find, managed to get hold of some uh, from an aircraft um, engine manufacturer. Uh, so there you go, a little bit of a story for you there. Um, quite, uh, quite an incredible little mechanism. And uh, I believe uh, it uh, would be rather interesting to uh, to work on. So that's um, the, uh, the the camera in general. Uh, it has a, um, a pentaprism, and in fact, I'll just open up the lens. It has a pentaprism and a mirror assembly. I think you can see the uh, frontal screen there uh, and the, the mirror assembly there, uh, which is in a portrait uh, format uh, or, or uh, orientation. So I'll just put this back on. It's the uh, the opposite of the Olympus. Uh, OM series, so it throws me occasionally. Here's the um, uh, the the uh, bayonet release, and here's the depth of field uh, preview. So I'll just pop, pop pop him back on. Whoops, just pop him back on. Um, so uh, what else have we got here? We've got a um, a PX six twenty five. Uh, battery uh, in there, standard 1.35 volt job that's going to cause us all grief. Um, they don't make mercury batteries anymore. There are some alternatives, and I'll look at those in another video. Um, we have the uh, the rewind uh, tripod uh, mount. We have the uh, self timer, and the shutter needs to be cocked. And it's roughly about uh, 12 seconds. Just press in the little button, and it'll set off the self timer. The Pen FT was the uh, only of 2,000 items, uh, the only camera of 2,000 items to go into two time capsules in the um, 1970 uh, Expo uh, in Osaka in Japan. And uh, that was in 1970, obviously, um, Expo 70. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, they have uh, two uh, capsules. One was actually opened 30 years later uh, in uh, 2000. And uh, Yoshihisa Matani uh, and four of the designers, original designers and production people, uh, heads, uh, were actually there uh, to uh, look at the um, uh, look at the actual camera. And I've got a bit of a problem with that. Uh, a little aperture reading now. Um, to actually look at the camera, they took it out and they tested it back in the lab and it worked an absolute treat. Now, I believe that uh, uh, every 100 years they're going to open up this capsule again and uh, and presumably have a look at the cameras and, and all the other bits and pieces uh, uh, that are in the time capsule. The second time capsule uh, has touted to be open in uh, 5,000 years' time. Now, I've got a feeling I'll probably be washing my hair that day, so if uh, if you're there, can you let me uh, let me know how it goes? I'm guessing the grease is probably going to be uh, a little bit sticky in that one. So, the Olympus Pen FT. Wonderful little camera. Uh, I like it very much. I, I love the photographs that come out of it. Um, when photographs don't come out, it's all my fault, not uh, not the camera. So I've got to, nobody else to blame um, or nothing else to blame but my own stupidity. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you next time we have a review. That's all for now.